Welcome back. Now in this operation we're gonna learn a new mill as well called the rest mill. Now what the rest mill does is gets all the little materials left out by the previous soul. For example, the pocket that we just did, we want to get rid of all the material left on the walls that the first uh, machining left off. Uh, to get this done, we're gonna need to do a rest mill and that's what rest mill means. It's the rest of the material. So to get this done, let's go to the last operation right here that we have and make sure only 4 is selected. Now you want to right click on it and drag it down and then you let go and say copy after. Now make sure we take our insertion point and move it down and then go to our parameters in this. Now let's go to tool and we're going to change our tool. We're going to make it a smaller tool than the 1 inch. So let's make it that quarter inch or if you want to make it a half inch that would be good too. But I'm going to keep it as a quarter inch tool, flat end mill. Go to cut parameters and let's disable smoothing. We've already done the smoothing in the first operation. And the stock to leave on wall, we're going to change that to zero. Let's go to uh, cut depth and we're going to keep it the same for cut depth. Go to transition and make sure helix is still enabled. Go to cut parameters, it's going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and click on apply and OK. So let's go ahead and back plot and verify all my operations. And there we go. So let's go ahead and do my machining. And there is my middle area mill pocketing in the middle. And then it does my side pocket. It's going to go down a negative one and a half inches. And it's basically taking off all the material that it left on the sides. And there you go. We're done with this operation and we're ready for the next one. We're going to learn how to do a blend mill.